The Vacheron Constantin 1921 is a watch that sells for over $30,000. I don't know about you, but I don't have that sort of cash laying around for a watch. Thankfully though, if you do like the look of the 1921, Boltony have ripped it off and made a super budget alternative. So let's take a look. Now, this isn't my first Boltony. I reviewed the Bronze Bezel Diver earlier this year, and I absolutely loved it. So when Boltony got in touch asking me to review this one, of course, I had to say yes. So I'll be putting this watch through the top tier ticker 10 point challenge, so stick around to see what it scores out of 10. No points can be awarded to Boltony for the design of this watch, because it is just a complete ripoff of another model. Legibility isn't an important part of this watch's design, and with the watch being being on an angle, it really confirms that. So Boltony decided to ditch the legibility and just focus on the details. This silver version is probably the least legible from the collection, with the silver dial, silver numerals and silver hands. The dial itself features a metallic effect, with polished Breguet numerals and a polished handset. It's clear that Boltony are just going for that sparkly look, because when light hits the dial, it is hard to read. But at certain angles, all of those polished surfaces just look amazing and it definitely gives the watch an expensive look. The second hand is blued though, so that's cool. And apparently this is a firmly blued hand. I have no way of checking if that's true, so I suppose we'll just have to take their word for it. The watch comes with a full 316L stainless steel construction and a slightly domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment. And I have to say the crystal is incredibly clear. It's actually quite impressive how clear this crystal really is. The crown is not screwed down and it is not signed. And this watch is a pain in the ass to wind, mainly because of how close the crown sits to the lugs. But I suspect that this is also an issue on the 30 grand Vacheron, so I won't bash Boltony too much for this one. But the crown is big and grippy enough so that you can wind it. It's just annoying when the lugs are in the way. The case back is laser etched with the spec sheet and is screwed on, so we do only see 50 meters of water resistance, which is absolutely fine for a dress watch like this. Now the movement is where most of you will probably be put off this watch. Now this does feature an automatic movement, it's the Seagull ST1701, which beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour and has a power reserve of 40 hours. This movement does not feature hacking seconds, and it is quite noisy when it's on the wrist. I'm guessing they used this Seagull movement because it's the most affordable small seconds module. I don't hate it, it's just alright. It would be nice to have hacking seconds and a bit of a quieter movement though. Where this watch stands out for me is in the details department. The dial has been executed very well. The colours and finishing works really well together. They've carried over the polishing from the hands and indices to the case of the watch, because the entire case of the watch is high polished, and the polishing has been done to a very good level. I'm not usually a big fan of fully polished cases, but it works so well on this watch because of the dial. The lugs feature rivets where the spring bars sit inside of them, and I really like this touch too. It makes the watch feel even more vintage. Now this watch features absolutely zero loom, and you probably wouldn't expect a dress watch like this to feature loom anyway. It would probably throw off the design of the watch completely. The supplied strap is okay. I've certainly seen a lot worse though. I think that the colour of the strap certainly matches the watch very well. And the strap does feel quite durable. The stitching is good and I can't see any flaws. And the leather feels fairly decent quality. So I think it should last for a while. The buckle is signed and also features a polished finish. No quick release spring bars though, which is sad to see. But the lugs are super accessible, so changing straps shouldn't be an issue. Now the dimensions of this watch are a little bit sneaky in comparison with how the watch actually wears. The watch comes in with a 38mm case diameter, a 44mm lug to lug and a 10.5mm thickness. However the watch does wear much larger than that 38mm case suggests. I'd say it wears more like a 40 than a 38. This is down to the squared design of the case. It makes the watch look larger on wrist and it feels much bigger than other 38mm watches I've tried in the past. Smaller wrists still shouldn't have an issue wearing this watch though, but don't be thinking you're buying a petite watch, because it does wear large. It does wrap around the wrist nicely though, because those lugs are so small and shoot straight down. Now if I could award a bonus point, this is where the Boltony would get one. This watch is just pure style, isn't it? It's bold, fun and classy all at the same time. Yes, it does have a learning curve when it comes to reading the time, but I doubt you're strapping this one on when you need quick timekeeping, and it's certainly a conversation 
starter. I can imagine my friends asking what the hell is that? It's just nice to own something that's a little different in the collection. And you know what? I'll actually award the Boltonia a bonus point in this section. Linen shirt, sleeves rolled up, pair of chinos, yeah, this watch is cool. So let's discuss the most important part, value for money. This watch comes in at around $170. And I don't think that's a terrible price for the spec sheet on offer, but you are paying for the great dial and the style of this watch more than anything. You can actually buy a different version of this watch that comes without the small seconds. And that version comes with a Myota 9000 series movement, which is only around an extra $100. And personally, I think that one's actually better value, but you do lose the small seconds which is a huge part of this watch's design. Yeah, I do think you can do a lot worse for your money than buying this watch, but I do think Boltony themselves offer some better value pieces. But it's the coolness of this watch that you're buying. It's a statement piece, a head turner. There is always a place in a collection for something like this. It's not going to be a daily wear. It's something that you're going to throw on a couple of times a month when you're going out for dinner. So in terms of that, they've nailed it. So in the 10 point challenge, this watch scored seven and a half out of ten it's always going to be hard for a wacky dress watch like this to score high in the 10 point challenge hence why i did give it a bonus point for style you'll find links to buy all the different versions of this watch down in the description if you don't already have a bit of a statement piece in your collection then i think that this one is definitely worth a look and whilst i've got you here why don't you go and check out the review that i did on the boltony bronze bezel diver it's right there go watch it i'll see you over there